place reeks of evil. And I'm gonna sniff out the source. Nickelodeon is partnering with the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County to learn all about the science of SpongeBob. I'm so excited, I've been waiting for a whole year. Think you're tough enough to learn about some deep sea dangers? I am not a weenie. Then stick around for some fierce facts from some of the museum's top scientists. Lionfishes are most certainly real. Uh, they look quite majestic. Lionfishes are dangerous because they're venomous sea creatures. However, they're not aggressive. So if you're diving, a lionfish is not gonna be speeding up to you to try to stab you with one of its venomous spines. But you should definitely be careful around them. So if you're snorkeling or scuba diving and you see a lionfish, observe it from a distance, but don't try to handle it. Try and catch me now, you prissy feline! But those beautiful, pretty purple sea urchins are probably totally safe, right? Ah! An urchin! Sea urchins are little animals that live on the sea floor, and they graze on material from the ocean bottom. Amongst the things they can graze on is kelp. Mmm, kelp nougat crunch. And if there are too many urchins eating too much kelp, the kelp goes away. Kelp forests provide a habitat for all of the animals that live in there. It creates a protective area for many different animals to live in. So sea urchins, you could say they're the enemies of the kelp forest. And at the, this point, because we don't have their predators around in large numbers, what used to eat them are sea stars and sea otters. They're overpopulating. And we're hoping that sea star populations will recover. They'll start controlling the sea urchins again and that'll allow the kelp forests to come back. This looks like a job for Patrick Star Laser Pants! Okay, but anchovies must be deep sea dangers too, right? They totally took over the Krusty Krab! While anchovies looked like a major problem in that scene in the Krusty Krab, anchovies are actually critically important for the health of the oceans. And that's because anchovies are near the base of the food chain. So they will swim in large schools and they eat uh, small, tiny, things in the water column like plankton. Oh dear! <laughs> or other baby fishes. And in turn, they get eaten by a large number of things in the ocean. So they form a very important link in the food chain and are actually very uh, much not the villain. So while the ocean is full of deep sea dangers, you're saying to never judge a fish by its fins. Got it. Justice, Justice restore. restore. Check back in for more Science of SpongeBob, brought to you by the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County and Nickelodeon.